everybody, and welcome to the Journey Today Show. My name is Britton. And I'm Tango. Tango? Earth to David, what's going on? Oh, uh, I'm so sorry, Britton. I, I was just daydreaming about when we were eight years old. Hey, remember the time we saw Tango the Dancing Tiger at the parade? For the hundredth time, David, we didn't see Tango. Don't you remember what happened? This is the worst parade ever! I can't see anything! Me neither! We're too short! Yeah, if I don't get to see Tango the Dancing Tiger, I'll be so mad! Yeah, me too! Yeah, um, that might work. But I have a better idea. How about I stand on your shoulders so I can see over the people? Okay, but then how will I see? Um, I know. I'll wave my ice cream cone in the air. When Tango sees it, he'll come running over here. Then the crowd will scatter and we'll be able to see everything. I don't know, Davy. That seems pretty risky. Well, we won't know if it's a bad plan until we give it a try. Come on, squat down. He's coming, Britton. I can see him. We'll hurry up and wave your ice cream cone. You're getting heavy. Over here, Mr. Tango. I've got some ice cream for you, Mr. Tango. David, hurry up. I can't last much longer. Uh, uh. Hey, where'd my ice cream cone go? forgot about that. Yeah, that's probably because you didn't end up with ice cream on your head. Oh, probably. Uh, but you know, I'm glad you reminded me about that. You owe me some ice cream. What? I owe you ice cream? Yeah, you made me drop it. You were standing on my shoulders. Well, if you hadn't been so short. You were short too, like a little Zacchaeus. A little who? You know, Zacchaeus. From the Bible, he was a wee little man. A wee little man was he. Oh, yeah. He climbed up in the sycamore tree for the Lord he wanted to see. That's right. And as the Savior came that way, he looked up in the tree and said, Zacchaeus, you come down from there. For I'm going, going to your house today. For I'm going to your house today. Oh, man. I love this story. It's a really short story about a really short man. You know what, David? Instead of us arguing about ice cream, maybe we should read the story about Zacchaeus instead. Uh, yeah. Uh, in fact, why don't we all read it? Let's do this. In just a second, press pause, then open your Bibles and read the verses on the screen. When you're finished, press play, and we'll see you back here. Whoa, isn't that such an interesting story? And here's what I love about it. For all of the kids who are watching this, you know what it's like to be Zacchaeus. You know what it's like to be stuck behind tall people who are blocking your view. That's so true. Everybody always looked down on Zacchaeus. That must have been the first time that Zacchaeus was able to look down on everyone else. You're right. And not only did people look down on Zacchaeus because he was short, they looked down on him because they thought they were better than him. 
That's why the crowd couldn't believe Jesus would want to be around him. Yeah, and you know, unfortunately, we can be like the crowd sometimes. We can think so highly of ourselves that we look down on other people. In fact, I have an idea for a challenge that kind of shows what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah! It's challenge time! Yep. And you know what? I've been thinking, David, you were right. I really do owe you some ice cream. So, as part of the challenge, I'd like to pay you back. Yes! Thank you, Britton! I already love this challenge! Okay, um, how does it work? You gonna feed it to me? With a spoon? No, I'm going to drop it on your head. What? Let me explain. When I say go, I'm going to try to drop a scoop of ice cream into your mouth. For the next round, I will move up one rung of the ladder and try again. And then so on and so on until we get to the top of the ladder. I want to see how many scoops of ice cream I can get in your mouth. Uh, okay, but what happens if you hit my face? I can only imagine. Ready? What? Well, Three, then... two, one, go! Ah. 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 Hey, nice one, David! Ah. Ah. All right, ah. round ah. to the next one! Oh. Okay. Here it comes! Ah. Ah. Oh. One more! Ah. Oh. That was not hey. no good! Oh, that was not good! That cold? was not as good! That one hit my... Open up! Here oh. it comes! Here ah. it comes! Oh, that was a really oh, bad no. shot. That one was a really bad one shot. One more, David. Open uh, up. Here it comes. Uh, oh, no. no, you missed one again. More, one more. Uh, uh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh, right. That was. David, you caught a really good scoop. Good job. That was, I only got one in my mouth. Should we get you cleaned up? Oh, yes, Let's please. Oh, that was crazy. All right, that is not exactly the payback that I was hoping for. I mean, look at this. You nailed me in the shoulder. You got me right between the eyes with one of those shots. But you did get a little bit of ice cream in my mouth, so that was nice. Yeah, but more importantly, it helps us understand what it's like to think more highly of yourself than others. Let me explain. And David, you can help too. Each time I give an example, I want you to climb up one rung of the ladder. You got it, boss. Imagine that you got a perfect score on your math test for the 10th time in a row. Suddenly, you start to think more highly of yourself. You think, wow, I'm really smart. Wow, I'm really smart. The next day, your teacher gives you the Star Student Award. You're not surprised, though. You're helpful and you always make good choices. Now you think even more highly of yourself. I'm the teacher's favorite. The next day, you score the winning goal of your soccer game, and your team puts you on their shoulders and carries you off the field. Now you really think highly of yourself. I'm the greatest of all time! But now there's a problem. Now you think so highly of yourself, you can't help but look down on the people around you because you think they're not as smart as you, or they mess up and make poor choices, or they're not as athletic as you. In fact, you think that you're so much better that you don't even really want to be around them. Yeah, that's what the crowd did to Zacchaeus. They looked down on him and didn't want to be around him, but not Jesus. He called Zacchaeus down from that tree and wanted to spend time with him. And you know what? The love that Jesus showed Zacchaeus is the same love that he shows us. And the love that he shows us is the same love that he wants us to show others. Right. In fact, that's what our Bible verse says. You must love one another just as I have loved you. John 13, 34. 
You know, that makes me think of a question. Do you know anyone who people look down on or think less of? How could you show that person love this week? Press pause. And discuss. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. There isn't a single kid in the world that Jesus doesn't love. He loves the shorter kids as much as the tall kids. He loves the clumsy kids as much as the athletic kids. He loves the kids who mess up a ton as much as the kids who hardly ever mess up. Jesus loves us no matter what, and that's the way we should love one another. That's so true. And here's my challenge for you. For just a minute, think about your neighborhood or your school. Is there someone that you look down on or think badly about? Do you avoid spending time with that person? This week, let's make an effort to show love to those people. Yeah, it could be something really simple. Smile at them, say hi, ask them to sit with you at lunch or, or to play with you. When Jesus showed that kind of love to Zacchaeus, it changed his life. That's right, and maybe our love can change someone's life, too. So good. And so true. Hey, kids, as always, we love hanging out with you. Let's do it again next week. For sure. Until then, remember, we love you, your church loves you, and most of all, Jesus loves you. Bye, everybody. Bye. See you next week. Hey, has anybody seen my legs? <laughs>